Good morning, guys. As you guys can see, we have a box truck on its side. All right, yeah, so as you guys can see, we have a box truck completely on its side. Um, it is a very small, small box truck. And because it's so small, we brought like a million dollars worth of equipment. Um, so in this case, there was a little bit of a, uh, I guess, a, basically, we're in a construction zone, as you guys can see. So the active lane is on that side of the K-Rail. We're working on this side of the K-Rail. It was originally thought by the highway patrol that we would have to lift this and carry it over the uh, guardrail and not be able to access here. But the construction company offered to open up the K-Rail for us. So now we're over here and all the equipment that we brought, which is the rotator and the 35 ton is way overkill for what we're doing here, but that's okay. We're here. It's gonna make the job a lot easier and a lot safer. So let's just get that out of the way. Um, as you guys can see though, we do have a like roughly probably 16 foot box truck. Uh, looks like a Ford chassis and it was a box truck. There was a box there, but uh, there is definitely no longer. As you guys can see, there is contents spewed all across the roadway and you know so we got more contents over here couches and everything so it is an unfortunate circumstance because you know this was someone's home that they were moving but uh yeah there was a accident involved and we're here to clean it up this uh little u-haul was also towing that car over there on a dolly and uh that's another order of business that we're going to be taking care of. All right, yeah, so the plan here this morning is we are going to just be worrying about the truck. You have one of the walls here, the rest of the wall and roof on that side, completely disconnected from the from the unit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to worry about the truck. We're going to get that out of the way, upright it probably over here, and then we will hook it up to probably the 35 ton. Um, again, overkill, but that is the truck we have out here at the request of the highway patrol, so that's what we're going to use. Uh, so we'll do that and then this pile right here is the uh, driver what he is deemed as what he wants to keep um, so I guess his one of his relatives is going to come and uh, help him load up that so that's going to get out of here and then everything else I've already made clear with the uh, with the driver everything else is essentially trash um, and we are going to be up here in the morning with uh, probably roll off bins and skid steer, excavator, whatever it's gonna take to load up the walls, mattresses, sofas, you know, all the miscellaneous stuff because there's no way for us to safely transport this stuff. Uh, well, I guess we could throw that on a trailer, but if we're gonna have a roll off bin up here, might as well just do it all in one go. So that is the plan. Uh, as far as the car and dolly goes, we are going to be uh, the dolly came or the car came dislodged from the dolly, so I'm going to use the rotator as it's set up here to lift the front of the uh, car in the air and get it airborne, and then we'll pull the dolly out, get it out out of the way, put the car up on the flatbed, tow the dolly behind the uh, behind the flatbed. So that's the plan. We just need to deal with getting it off the dolly at the moment. So. That's kind of the plan this morning. So yeah, thank you for tuning in and uh, let's get to work. What do you think, Pancho? Is there anything under here we can grab and just run a bridle out to here? Uh, I don't really want to go to the. Could you see where the chain's at? Yeah. There's something on top of the. Uh huh. On top of the chain that's holding it down. Okay. Actually, if you even grab it from the tire, I think that won't even help to take the chain off. All right. They're still fighting with a the cat in there. There's a cat in the like by the gas pedal, brake pedal that will not come out of there. I think it'd be easier to get this cat out from this door if we could open it. So either you want to just lift the fucking car up. That's fine. And then it, we'll try and get the cat out from yeah. right here. Cause look at it. It's right behind the fucking pedal. You're going to have to open the door and just grab its 
legs and pull it out. Yeah. He's fighting. Yeah, watch. Hey, try and try and grab him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here, watch fucking... this. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah, you don't have to. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, yeah, after the ride he went through, I'm sure he's a little fired up. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Do you have the keys for this thing? Yeah, I have. Them. Can is there any way you can set the parking brake? Like, I think you'll have to turn the ignition on or whatever. But I'm gonna try to do the the A arm and just lift it because this is already blown out you know so i'm not worried about damaging this but if we lift from the wheels it's gonna cave in the sides um let's do you have any wood let's block the tires on this thing even though i just set the parking brake i don't trust it got it yeah who's a big boy uh, Poncho, I'm more worried about the, the car rolling. Block it on the back tire? Yeah, let's just block both tires. I mean, we can block the dolly too, but... Uh, I got some blocks up in, in this truck too we can use. I don't think the dolly's gonna go very far. It's, uh, I guess we're gonna wait till we get the car off the dolly. Go ahead, okay. hook, it, hook it into one cable. Everything into one. Wherever it is, it doesn't matter. Perfect. That's the plan. That chain getting loose? Looks like it is. As soon as we can pull this dolly toward us, that'll loosen it more, too. I'm gonna go up, just dunk it under there. Yeah, if you can, wiggle the dolly and see if it's free. There you go, yep. Okay, Let's, what's holding that thing on there? It's wrapped. Let me go up a little higher and maybe we can get the uh, car at least yeah, sitting on top of the dolly and then we can safely at least set it down so we're not standing under the suspended load. There we go. Yeah, it's wrapped around the control arm. Okay. All right, let's hold it there just so now I can drop. I'm going to come down with it. Okay, can we undo that? Okay, is it unhooked right now or no? No, it's still wrapped around. It's okay. wrapped around, but it's not hooked. It's not hooked? No. Okay, so let's uh, pull the dolly toward us just a little more and I'll set it down and we should be able to get it out. Try to square it up if you can. There you go. All right, coming down. Okay, get out of there now. Sweet. All right. All right. Go up with it and we'll get the dolly out. That tire doesn't want to turn. There it goes. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it was the breakaway thing. It's set in tow. So was it rolling or no? Uh, oh, it's. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Bent yeah, it's bent. Okay. Uh. Well. This is probably front wheel drive. You can put this on the pick, put this up on the bed. How are we looking on, on the tires, yeah? Seems all right. Huh? I don't know, it kind of looks like it's got a little angle to it, but I think it, it'll tow. Let me, 
Unless someone wants to try to kick that. Oh, you're so strong. Yeah, it's holding air. That's crazy. All right, you wanna give the cat another go? Probably just hook onto that, yeah. See if your cable will go right into it. Yeah, that'll work. Help him uh, steer that on. It's gonna not go straight to that wheel. It's not whispering. I said help him steer it. It's not gonna go up straight because that wheel's locked up. Let it fall this way. Let it let it go this way a little bit. There you go. Take it back to you. There you go. It's on there. Nice. If this thing starts, we'll just drive it right up to your pick. Probably uh, get take your ball off. See if it'll start. I'll let you deal with that cat pee pee. <laughs> bungee cord on or something? Yeah. Can you unhook that bungee cord on your side? Uh, I'm going to have him come forward. Jonathan, come forward. Good. You're on over there? Okay. What hole did you go, Pancho? What hole are you going? Push it. Go, uh, go back toward you. There you go. All right, good and shut it off. All right, well, this portion is all ready to go. Strap down, just need safety chains, but Bont is putting lights on. If you guys didn't understand, we put the dolly up here because the axle on that side is bent and it's not allowing the tire to turn properly. So we put the dolly up on the pick and then we put this guy on the back. This one's okay other than front damage and then the back rim's damaged, but it's holding air. So it should be okay to get back into town. Uh, now we're gonna work on the box truck. Let's uh, probably run our drag winch, which is green, to something on the back of that truck. Either the hitch or the axle around the back with a chain. Yeah, we can probably go back here. 
Yeah, with, the chain. with it with a chain though. Yeah, I think. for sure. Or, I mean, do you think this will hold? No. Huh? No, I don't like that. Okay. Get some side stability going on here. Oh, yeah, because this is a very heavy thing. Right? Um, yeah, yeah. It's going to put up quite the fight. All right, I'm going to give it a yank. Stand over here. You can, wait, why don't you stand over there? Just get different angles on this. Make sure we're watching. All right, here we go. Leaving everything behind for the most part? Yeah, yeah, everything but the wall. The wall's coming with? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We're leaving it on this side, so. How's it looking? Pretty good. Yeah. So uh, just the walls in the way. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um. So let's do this. I'm gonna free spool. I'm gonna pull forward. We'll kind of pull it a little more here. Oh okay. god. We're just breaking in this brand new concrete that they pour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yeah, but I feel like shit like this is just gonna keep happening until they're done with construction. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah, yep. For sure. Can seems you, uh... Like, seems to be a common occurrence. No. In trucks and guardrails. I know. Alright, pulling forward. Alright. Okay. We can manage to slide that box, that roof or side panel out of the way. I can help you. Or you can just manhandle it, you beast. Oh, it's not even connected. I think that you're good there if you drop it. Should be good. Yep. That's fine. Yeah. I think that's still connected. Cool. Uh, I'll get it a little closer. How does the front tires look? Do you think we can reach other side? Tire uh, on the hood. Driver's side's flat. Is it? Okay. We'll have to. Yo, 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 yo. All right. Well, let's pull the drive shaft then if it's on its side already. Check for tension. I bet you it's tight right now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was nice. All right, where's all your tools at? In the toolbox. No, really? <laughs> That's a 12 millimeter, right? 
Uh, it's probably going to be three eighths if I had to guess. It's, it's pretty small, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on, let me see. It's actually a pretty big bolt. Yeah, it might be a 12. That'll work. Mm, I have a longer one. Yeah, baby. Wow, like I was excited to see it just fell right out. Does this shit just pull straight out, or? Did it have a band clamp on it? Yeah. How do you can take these on? Twist it. Keep twisting it. That guy right there. I'll get you something. There you go. All right. Okay, so let's just keep in mind, no air brakes, drive shafts out, so gotta make sure we block it, do something, keep it from rolling. Wonder if we could uh, take one of those rear tires off and put it up in the front. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to turn this thing all around. That might be what we're gonna do, maybe. Otherwise, we gotta either spin it around or we're gonna have to get a brake to go up there or back all the way to front edge. We'll figure it out. All right, uh, I'm gonna blow the boom out. We're gonna lift from here, get it up in the air, and then we'll run uh, a chain under the box here to get some lift. Which, uh, which chain? Uh, probably grab a 20 footer of that same size. Okay, so wrap it around the fucking the front axle or? No, let's do uh, probably like the leaf spring maybe, like right there. Yeah, something like that. Or even frame if you can. If, you, if frame would be better if you can grab a frame. I don't think. No, no passers? No. Okay, then that's fine. Go leaf spring. Yep, okay. And then do your other one on maybe that cross member right there. You want to uh, grab uh, probably white and just pull, or probably pull both cables down before it gets out of hand, out of reach. Perfect. Okay, going up. All right, lifting. Oh. Okay, is there enough uh, room there or do we need more? No, because it's okay. one of the, the going side up. Boards. How's that look? Jeez. I can uh, put a rod or something under there too to grab it if you need to. Alright. Good? Yeah. Okay, so we're situated there. Come down. Are we gonna keep the white one attached? Uh, no, we're gonna have to relocate that to somewhere up higher, like probably this uh, axle right here. This will be our catch line. So maybe like this, uh, we'll do the leaf spring with that chain right there. Oh, we'll just relocate it here. And then the kind of the general rule of thumb with catch lines is you only have to go as long as like to get up over whatever. Like so, if this was like a full trailer, right? We'd have to like do a or like a full box, we'd have to do like a short a short chain to a strap to get like way up over the box. Yeah. Because you want it like something soft, you don't want chain to go over the box. But since that's Very gone, soft. yeah, we can just do like, I don't know, just basically this loop and that'll be fine. All right, let's do this. Uh, you manage white, I'll manage blue. They're both free spooled. I'm gonna boom out and get it out over there. All right, my side's hooked. You're hooked. Uh, almost hooked. Let's uh, let's get up and uh, 
probably up there and grab blocks. Let's block these two tires with two blocks and then the front two tires with two blocks. Oh, yeah. So if you want to get up there and just hand me blocks, I'll, I can block them from here. Maybe the skinny ones if possible. Yeah. If, that's the, if that's the first one, I guess. Oh. Probably do three if you want. Alright, that's fine. Three's fine. Because it's downhill, so I'll just do one on the front on the downhill side. It's down on the floor. That'd be my guess. Maybe. And I'm, I'm a bit <laughs> too curvy. Curvy. Yeah. There you uh, know. Uh, ah, fuck. Yep. See it. Let me, uh, that, before... that seems to be intact still. Yeah, let me uh, spin the tire just to confirm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, you good? <laughs> Out of breath. Jeez. The only thing with catch lines, because it's you know it doesn't really maintain, uh, it doesn't stay tight until it's ready to be caught, obviously. Oh. So we just uh, throw some tape around it so it doesn't. Come on, hooked. All right, you ready for showtime? Oh yeah. Want me to readjust this chain so the hook's not right here? Yep. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> there goes our tape. Let's fix that. Let me grab some actual tape. Oh, there's mine. <laughs> oh, shit. Should be good, yeah? I don't think it'd come out. Yeah. Huh? Right. I think I like where that's where that's at. Alright, you ready? Yep, go okay, for it. Go. It's not going to take much. <laughs> it's already in the catch. I literally went up like two feet on the... <laughs> Easy peasy lemon fucking squeezy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, puppy. Nice. Alright, alright. Alright, all right, let's see what we can do about our tire situation here. They appear to be the same tire. So, yeah, let's uh let's break me down, I'll get out of the way. Oh, this tire is bad too. Jeez. That's fine. I'm just going to have to take an inner route. Well, no. That one's bad over or there. We're going to rear tow it. So, rear tow it. These tires will be in the air. Oh. We'll put one of these on the front. Oh, okay. You got me? I got you. All right. Tire rod was intact and all that, yeah? What's up? Tire rod and everything was intact. Um. Let me see your flashlight. What's going on here? Is that just a pan? Yeah. Okay. Get that out of there idea because the frame's too wide to pick it up from the frame. Sure. This cross member right here for the trailer hitch mm -hmm. is also too wide. I mean I can maybe fit it around this part. You can grab the frame. It's not too wide. Yeah but look at right here. Hey you could grab that. 
You could. This would be the best one right here. Right here in oh, that right. pocket. Yeah, because remember the forks. Well, your truck's even better because it has those receivers with the double holes. Yeah. So that one of the holes is offset, and then the forks are offset too. So. Yeah, that would be the spot to grab right there, because then you, is there the same pocket on the other side? Yeah, because then you have, yeah. uh, you know, somewhere, something to hold you going front and back. Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Let me, uh, make sure, before we get too ahead of ourselves, that, uh, my impact will take off one of these tires, because we're going to have to use an extension, I think. How are we going to pick the, what are we going to pick the front end up with? Mm, I have a bottle jack. You have a bottle jack? No. Oh, well, the teeth that were in that spot are gone. They melted. Huh? Stop. Stop right try to pull it out. Look at that. Clean cut. You want to take these last two bolts off, or do you want? Uh, I was gonna wait till we get the jack under it. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll move. You want to grab that drive shaft and throw it in the cab or whatever you're gonna do with it, and I'll pretty much park right there. So we got tools and everything right here. Get you backed up to it. How far back can I come before I get into that crap? Keep going. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, stop right there. Is it okay if it's not seated all the way down into the fork? What's hold, preventing it from doing that? Uh, the width, I guess. The what? The width the of width. the fork. Yeah, probably just get your wider forks. The bigger ones? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I need to test fit these. No. <laughs> I think the shoe fits on those. Uh, go out. Yep, there you go. Okay, up you go. All you, baby. Ugh. All right. So let's hold that for a second. Let me uh, get a jack over here. You want to pull these tires off? All right. Are those lug nuts off? Looks good to me. You can probably stop there so that way you can get out. I just need to uh, pop the handbrake. All right, we're in tow, we're moving. Everything looks good. So now we just gotta get back out there, which I don't think I'm gonna be involved in. Uh, we usually subcontract that kind of work. Uh, but yeah, gonna uh, have to go back out there and pick up all that debris at this point and uh, clean it up. So Jonathan's up ahead. We're uh, rear towing it as you guys saw. We're looking good. So I think we're going to call the video there. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.